Hey guys, How Thomas do y'all... wants to start on a loading yep. screen, Don't so worry, jump we'll... into the return home thing. He wants you to know that we completed the level, you know? Like, in case you didn't trust it before. Well, this is where they last saw us. Don't worry, we'll cut to when we get into the next level. No! Yeah. I guess we are. It's yeah. a fucking stupid cut place, Thomas. Alright, we're back. Hey guys! All right. I definitely don't verbally abuse Thomas during our breaks. Definitely not. Don't worry about. Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> there goes that no electric floor achievement. Well, that was only on that one level. I know. Don't worry I about know. It, Josh. You should avoid electric floors from now on. Was it definitely on the terrorist village level? Yep. Terrorist village. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, you can jump out of the yeah, swamp. Yeah, I did. Don't worry about it. I Josh. know. I was there. I'm literally still there. Oh my there. god. What you the can... fuck? Okay, well. <laughs> We're I'm, here now. I'm glad this game saves your achievement as you do it, you know? Same. So, like, you can go to get something and die while you're getting it, and it'll be all right. Like, Neat. your parents won't call you and be like, I'm disappointed <laughs> with you. Oh, yeah. Unlike other games where your parents are notified and then they call you to tell you how disappointed they are. By the way, hi, Mom and Dad. I love y'all. <laughs> oh, um, my gosh. Don't talk to your parents, Thomas. Well, it's not relatable to our other viewers. <laughs> my dad has commented on every single video, so I feel like I have to, you know? You're right. I mean, if he's still been commenting on videos, like, 15 to 20 episodes in, dude, you deserve a shout-out. <laughs> shout-out to my parents, you know? Shout-out to my mom. I would like to thank Jesus and also <laughs> God. Did Shout you hear that? Jesus. Did you hear that Justin Bieber quote when no. he was like oh, winning an award? He was like, "I would like to thank Jesus and also God." <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I did hear that. <laughs> I thought it was a meme, but fuck. As a Christian, it makes me so happy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm glad that Justin Justin Bieber is, you know, like recognizing my very marginalized religion. <laughs> Yes, we are very marginalized as Christians. Yep. Oh my gosh. It is kind of it is kind of a thing. It is it's like one of those check your privilege moments that when someone's like religion sucks, you know they're talking about Christianity. <laughs> you know. Yep. Cuz as much as I love Christ, I hate Christians. Oh ye. We are so fucking rude and stuck up oh you hardcore, know? yeah like christians are the definition of white privilege sometimes <laughs> not always but sometimes sometimes yeah i don't know it's just kind of a thing where if you get a oh god he he straight up ate me what the fuck okay oh my god <laughs> i definitely dodged that don't worry about that <laughs> The proof is in the pudding, and also the, the, the pudding. video recording we're making of this. Oh, God, dude. Um, but do I chickens <laughs> respawn? I hope so. You're fucked. Fuck, no. All right, well, wow, one more Thomas, hit and I die. The only time I've actually been worried for your safety in this game. Don't worry about it. But anyway, back to my story. Which is pretty Not really a story. Honest. It's just really a tangent. But, like... It seems that Christianity attracts the brattiest of human beings. Oh my, yeah. Like the most entitled human beings that are like, Well, I'm dead. I deserve eternal life, so I'm a Christian. But I deserve it. You don't. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Those kind of people who are uh, better than thou. Oh, yeah. Holier than thou. Holier than thou. If, if we might be that bold. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I like how I'm like bashing Christianity and then I'm like, Christian? Well, okay. Here's the thing. I am bashing Christians. Yeah. Because... Look at this guy. Look at how triggered this guy is right now. Yeah, he's like, I'm a Christian. Don't okay. bash me. There are good oh, Christians. Okay. There are plenty of people that are fucking amazing. Like, as far as I know, the current Pope is like, pretty fucking chill you know yeah. every I've, other pope before him though i don't know about that but i know the current pope has like accepted climate change and evolution so and like he's better than our president so i mean Catholic. that's all i have to say 
they're Catholic. They're different from like normal Christians. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, whether how, Catholics want to believe that or not. How fucking niche can we make the first oh, half boy. of this episode? Do non-Christians relate to making fun of Christians? I would assume so. Dude, everybody <laughs> relates to making fun of Catholics, though. That's like, true. That's true. Like, I don't think of anybody that's like, oh yeah, Catholicism, that religion that's based inherently on giving a church supreme power. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> like oh literally boy. nobody but catholics oh boy i wonder how many viewers we can piss off with this <laughs> rant well okay so we started with zero viewers times like i don't know 10 times offense are we gonna be that generous to ourselves <laughs> you're right you're right Look zero viewers will be offended by our content Fuck shit, bitch, ass, ho. Oh, boy. Motherfucker. I'm like, now we'll offend a proper amount of viewers. <laughs> I'm, oh, this is special, because literally today, I mm -hmm. went and met with uh, people that I'm trying to work on a documentary with. Okay, uh-huh. Um, so it's... I don't want to drop specific names. Yeah, um, of obviously. Keep, them, yeah. keep their identities secret. Batman or, like, style. Community names. There's like a big organization that. Oh, is part. okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, continue. Continue. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they're actually gonna look this deeply into my credentials. Go for um, it. Just go for it. But uh, I am working on a documentary currently with uh, a group of or a community of people that are like specific, fairly specific to Central United States. Mm -hmm. Um. But they were like. All right, send me a uh, send me a resume. Oh my god! For an interview? Well, no, it's I have I offer I am uh, so things that we are currently like we are all open about is that we are film students. Uh huh. Um, obviously, yes. Yeah, I am interested in producing a documentary about a group that I'm interested in completely separate from everything else um, because of my major in. German, mm -hmm. um, but it has become like a thing where it's like, all right, talk to us about what you are doing and what you're like wanting to do with this project. Uh huh. And I'm like, oh well, um, I was in a feature film once. <laughs> <laughs> Your resume uh, for everything. Yep. Me freaking too. Oh my gosh. When you go out to fucking Hollywood, though, I was out in Hollywood all summer. They when I go out to Hollywood. They don't yeah. fucking give a shit about what you've done in the past, you know? Yeah. They're like, were you on something with people we know? Like, they say Hollywood is a um, friends game, you know? Like, you get jobs based on your oh, friends. Yeah, yeah hardcore. And it is 100% true. <laughs> That is literally Hollywood. It's like hire people that you or your friends know and no yeah. one else unless you're desperate as shit. <laughs> it makes sense because, like, in our in our profession, like, you don't want people that won't take things seriously. And the only way you can know that they'll take things seriously is if you have somebody who knows them. I, yeah. I get it. Like, I fucking get it. It just really hurts as someone entering the industry. You oh, know? yeah. Hardcore. Like, I, I don't think it's a good idea, but, like, <laughs> it makes sense. And I died. I well, know. I saw it. I think I think it's time have to Have we even been playing a game for the last... Well, I have been, Josh. <laughs> well, I don't know if I have been. Well, are we ready to end the episode? Or do we want to keep going for a little bit? Let's at least go until you kill someone else, Thomas. Oh, okay, well... Because I usually like to end episodes on murder, not death, you know? That's reasonable, I suppose. They'll go back and be like, actually, actually, um, glasses actually, up on my face. All according to Keikaku. <laughs> Keikaku means plan. 90% of your episodes have ended with Thomas or you dying on something. <laughs> so excuse me. Yeah, okay. We ended on a murder. Yeah. That's oh. good. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Apparently we I ended on a charge. Death. Let's go. Well, see you guys. See y'all. Bye. Bye. Thomas is bad.